Uh, he represents the Binghamton area in the southern tier. Uh, he's been a, a great senator in the years that he's been in the Senate, and again, has been a, an, an outspoken critic of this policy, Senator Fred Akshar. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Uh, I just want to begin by thanking Senator Ort for his leadership on this issue. I know that uh, you have uh, happily carried the torch on this issue, and uh, on behalf of all of uh, our colleagues, I, I thank you for that. Uh, this doesn't happen very often, but uh, I agree with the governor of 2019 uh, in that uh, we should, in fact, be cutting the film tax credit. Because, really, if you peel back all the glitz and glamour of the film tax credit, what, what you really have um, is government, state government, sending a very uh, clear message to everyday middle-class New Yorkers uh, that we don't care about you. Right? We have consistently put forth policies in this city uh, that make New York unaffordable. And, um, I, you know, earlier today I was walking through the LOB and uh, many of my colleagues from the other side of the aisle uh, were marching um, saying, we want more foundation aid and we want it now. We want more foundation aid and we want it now. Well, how in God's name do you pay for that? Right? There's only so much money to go around. Uh, here is a perfect place to start. If we, want to, if we want to fund education more, uh, here is a 420 or $450 million pot of money that, we can, that we, can, we can pick from. I want to give you a couple of examples. If we forfeit this, uh, this foolish film tax credit, uh, we could, in fact, put the $60 million back into the budget for AIM, right? And the governor would have you believe in the 30-day amendment that uh, we have, in fact, restored AIM funding. Well, we had it. Uh, the pickpockets are working overtime uh, in this city right now, and they're robbing Peter to pay Paul and suggesting that uh, the counties now pay uh, the AIM funding, when in fact it's a state program and we should be paying for it. Uh, how about STAR for small businesses, right? Small businesses drive the economy. Uh, they're fleeing the state in record numbers because they can't afford uh, to do business here. They've been gutting it out on Main Street, New York, year after year after year. We have a proposal to expand a star, uh, the STAR program to small businesses, businesses who have 100 or fewer employees. It's expensive, $270 million, but to Senator Ort's point, uh, I think an investment like that or an investment in infrastructure uh, would go a long way and would drive the economy. I'll make one last point and then I'll finish. The governor in this budget uh, has put up $1 million one million, a paltry one million dollars for mental health services for uh, school students. One million dollars. So just draw that comparison in your mind uh, as you think about this film tax credit. Uh, we're willing to put up one million dollars to take care of the mental health of young people or we're willing to give $450 million uh, to the Hollywood elite. Now, you say, uh, you, Senator Ort, you, you raised a question about why are we giving all this money uh, to the Hollywood elite, and um, you know what, your explanation of that, you're spot on. Uh, it is because it is these very same people who make very sizable campaign contributions to some, to a few people in this state, and that's what drives uh, the motivation to funding something like this. So. Uh, you know what, I'm, I'm happy to stand here shoulder to shoulder with my colleagues uh, and call for an end of this and uh, reappropriate the money to programs uh, that we in fact uh, need, right? This is about wants versus needs. This is a want. Uh, the needs are to pr provide mental health services to our youth, restore AIM funding, um, star for small businesses, the list goes on and on. And I'm, law enforcement, sure. Public, uh, public protection, right? The budget sub, uh, that, that subcommittee for public protection yesterday talked nothing about protecting the public. Uh, they talked about protecting the people who violate the public's trust. And uh, if that doesn't send a message about the direction that we're going in this state, I don't know what else does. So uh, I'll end, uh, uh, Senator Ort, thank you again for your leadership on this particular issue.